So I went to Townwide Garage Sales early, a day early. Uh, there was a dozen sales that uh, were open already, so went and uh, did some of them. Picked up uh, some Bakelite drawer handles, missing the hardware unfortunately, but still five sticks of green Bakelite. And usually the green turns to black in uh, when exposed to sunlight and such, but those are still nice and green. And we've got a Bakelite bracelet as well. Nice one there. And a uh, pickle caster, I think they're called. And yeah, with the little tongs and everything. It's missing one of the, the things broke off, but it's in the uh, jar there, so somebody can repair that. And a cowbell. And uh, glass rolling pin and a straight razor. Uh, barber's special or Barber's, yeah, Barber's special. And a Philby Fire King pie plate and some depression glass cream and sugars. I also bought two boxes of depression glass as well. I'm not sure why I bought depression glass. It's not terribly popular at the moment, although the green uranium glass is. But there's only one piece of uh, green in this particular lot. But I'll unpack it and show it to you anyway. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. In depression glass. And well, there's some 50s glass. This is uh, Flora Gold is the pattern name. Right there. I guess I think it's possibly 30s. I'm not sure. I'll have to check again. But anyway, uh, point setup is this particular bowl and the pattern, I believe. And we've got a lid for the point setup right there. And we've got a cherry blossom bowl as well, right there. Although I think this one's a reproduction. Once I'm looking at it now, the cherries aren't very good. So I'm wondering if that's what it is. Oh well. Anyway, okay. Um, yes. Another little pink glass dish. Right there. Might be better to send this stuff to the auction or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think this is also a modern, modern reproduction, possibly. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Maybe I overpaid for this batch. Paid fifty dollars for the two boxes. Wondering whether I overpaid, maybe. Okay, what else? All right, these are no big deal. Okay, got some clear glass. Probably just go to the thrift store. That's nothing special. Um, looks like. Uh, I'm not sure what the pattern of that one is, but uh, anyway, nice looking, I guess, as far as depression glass goes. And here's a, a rose. What is it called? Sharon. That's what it's called. So yeah, and some clear glass nappies. So yeah, all right, let's see. Okay, we'll go to the next box. Okay, here we go. Find the next box. All right, uh, okay, we have some Sharon 
bread and butter plates. There. Oh, we got some larger Sharon plates. Okay. And I don't know what pattern that is. I'll have to find out, I guess. Looks like we've got four of those. set of oh no that's Sharon again so we got two of those and that's more four of gold hmm. All right. more of that so and a green this will be uranium glass more than likely. I think that's called patrician. I'm not sure though. Have to double check on that. Alright. And we got more flora gold again. It's a large plate. Okay, I don't want to smash this. Alright, yes. And more Sharon. Right there. And I think this pattern is called sandwich. I'm pretty sure. One thing about all this, it's in minty condition it's not chipped and cracked and broken but uh, like I said compression glass has fallen out of favor but uh, I don't know, there's still some buyers for it so hopefully hopefully some that'll sell and I'll get make some money get my money out hopefully at least <laughs> and we got two oh boy we got two clear plates uh, they're not depression glass, but whatever. All right, I guess that's it for that batch. And stay tuned, there'll be more finds tomorrow. So stay tuned, they're coming right now. So it's 7.35 and it's town-wide yard sales again this morning uh, in another town nearby, so got uh, about 20 minutes to go there so we'll get there for about quarter to eight uh, ten to eight something like that so wish me luck so the morning of townwide yard sales this is what I did on Saturday um, not everything is here yet I've got a whole bunch of stuff in boxes yet um, Darn troll train. Oh boy. Um, anyway. Okay, throwing me off my game. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, I've got several, I've got about three boxes of stuff. I hit um, 50 odd sales and the last sale I hit, I did the best at. So yeah, um, I'll show you this stuff first and then I'll get into the boxes of stuff as well. So here we go. Um, I needed an iPhone charger <laughs> cable. So here we go. The tr train is trolling me. Oh boy. Anyway, just got that. Uh, there was antiques and such at the same sale, but uh, they were all priced pretty high. Anyway, got uh, Pyrex casserole dish, divided casserole. Uh, first sale I hit, I got two Pyrex colored uh, square bowls and a lighter was what I was after in here uh, the rest of it's just stuff that's going to go to the thrift shop and three other primary Pyrex bowls 
and a coffee mug, a Fire King coffee mug is why I bought these. The whole box was a quarter, so I got some coffee mugs to use for myself. Then one Pyrex one, probably a $10, $15 mug, but uh, advertising Pyrex, and it's advertising hot lemon Rexall cold beverages, or a cold treatment, I guess. And a Beswick vase, or vase pitcher. It was all of a dollar, so I couldn't leave it there. I not real successful in selling a lot of this stuff. Uh, I'll price it reasonable enough that uh, somebody will hopefully grab it. And then I picked up trucker caps. Oh boy. These ones are a little different though. Um, I got a Def Leopard one from one sale. Not a trucker cap, but a visor. So that's kind of cool. I forget when Adrenalize was. I think probably in the 90s or maybe early 80s. Or late 80s not sure when that concert was um, a three stripe trucker cap they tend to be better and these ones are kind of dirty but uh, they were a little different We've got uh, b1b fighter jet I guess then I got uh, that one's nothing special that one I wore at uh, the auction Tim Horton's donuts so that was a little different, but unfortunately, oh, I missed this. Shoot. Oh, the foam is going bad. Oh man, I didn't didn't catch that. Oh well, there's a junk one. And a uh, pink one from Sturgis, 1990. And another one needs cleaning again. Another Sturgis one though. The Sturgis one should be better. Another Sturgis, 1990. And Imperial Hell Drivers, why the show on wheels? That's kind of cool. And uh, then, oh, got, uh, I think maybe got another one with bad foam here somewhere. Oh, anyway, I guess that was just the, the one. Uh, Harley Davidson motorcycles again needs cleaning. Uh, oh yeah, the Hell Drivers one is deteriorating. I didn't catch that. Oh, oh well, maybe I can vacuum out the foam. Anyway, uh, yeah. Next we'll go on to the boxes of stuff I got at the last sale that I attended, and I got some neat deals there too. So stay tuned. They're next. So stopped at uh, one sale and got a display rack for jewelry. So I'll use that for in the store. Give it a bit of a clean. And then uh, that last sale that I went to, here's all the stuff I got from it. Two boxes and then uh, tin full and some other pieces. A little primitive cabinet here made of probably packing crates or something like that um, let's see open her up here probably for a little spice cabinet or maybe kids toys or something like that there looks like it's had a shelf cut out for some reason or other maybe a medicine cabinet or something like that needs a good clean of course but for two bucks wasn't going to leave that there then a little doll cabinet, kind of a step back little mini kitchen cabinet, kind of primitive, pretty cool. Little tiny shelves in it and everything. The woman said that she played with it as a kid. She wasn't too sure where her father had gotten it or who had made it, but kind of a neat little piece. A nice little primitive piece. Then there's one little more crude uh, made of plywood and pink but uh, still very primitive ish and uh, kind of a neat little little cabinet green inside pink on the inside or green on the inside pink on the outside rather 
Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll maybe tie into some of the boxes next, right away, and uh, go from there. Well, we'll empty this tin first. And where, but a garage sale, can you pick something up for 10 cents anymore? 10 cents for some uh, honey tins. They're, that one's from Alexander, F. Alexander of Lenore. And there's another one, Jack Ellis from Lenore. I guess they were competitors, maybe. And a uh, blank one there. But for a dime, can't really use. They're actually very common honey tins, but uh, people do collect them with different names on them. I actually know the fellow whose father that was, Jack Ellis. I know his son. Um, he's a local collector that comes in and yeah, you know, I'm sure he's got them though. And I've got a rug hooker by John E. Garrett, blue nose long hooker. So if you're looking for a hooker, I got one. Yep. Not a pimp though. Anyway, um, what else? And we've got this item. It says it's a bird bath, songster bird bath. I'm not sure what that's a, what that is, but I guess that. I'm not sure if that's it or not. Guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see, I have a book on on uh, birds and a pet owner's guidebook on birds as well. That was only a quarter, so. It was well worth picking up. We've got a co-op grease pail. Fairly clean and everything, considering it's a grease pail. Um, paid a little more for it. Paid 20 bucks for that. Um, it's probably 35 or 40 maybe. Kind of a slow sale though. And got a frying pan down here. Another cast iron frying pan. It's a GSW fry pan made in Canada. That's General Steelwares. Copper nickeled kettle. And next we'll tie into another box right here. Let's see what else. We've got more honey tins. Uh, there's another Jack Ellis. Another one. I think these ones cost me a dollar for three of them. A little more than the ten cents, but still cheap as borscht, they say. They're blank though. And let's see, we'll have to clear the table a little bit so we can bring this stuff out. So we'll tie into this box here. Um, got several of these candy jars. There's candy shipped in these, and uh, then you could reuse the jar. So uh, storekeepers have quite a few of them. Generally, I usually find several at, in stores and such, but these ones, they were bargain priced at five bucks a piece. So I bought uh, several of them. And that one there, that one was lid. Sometimes you find these with a arrow on the bottom that says Wrigley's and those are Wrigley gum ones. These particular ones are blank though. I think the Wrigley's ones tend to be a little shorter too. And then for a dollar, we've got a bunch of wooden nickels uh, from Verdon, Manitoba here for Verdon's 50th birthday or 75th birthday rather in 1957. Got quite a few wooden nickels there. Uh, some are from 57 and some are from 82. So yeah. Oh, here's another one from Moose Jaw. Kind of neat. Anyway, let's go on to the next box. So we'll tie into this box here. Got uh, some blue ribbon baking powder tins. Again, these are fairly common, but for a dollar I couldn't leave them there. And we've got a large one, big blue ribbon, 
And let's see. There's two large spades. These were all of a dollar as well, so I couldn't leave them. Even though they're the three chain ones, they tend to be harder to sell. But these are a little larger, so they're uh, a little more desirable. But uh, not going to be a quick sale, but for a dollar, I can afford to hang on to them. And the second one, let me just set that there. Get the second one out. Doing this with one hand is a little more difficult. There's the second one. Right. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, there we go. Kind of an iridescent tone. All right, now I've got to set all this stuff down and clear a spot for another box. All right, here we go in the last box. Got another blue ribbon tin. Watkins talc tin again bad bottom but uh, still for a quarter can't really lose and this forbidden scenes in Chinatown not for ladies by artists unknown and what does it contain ah, it's a joke uh, piece that uh, basically you load it and it pops or explodes so yeah Anyway, and Egyptian Bouquet by Watkins. Again, bad bottom, but for quarter. Oh, man. Just can't lose. And for Raleigh's Ginger Tin. There's another candy jar. And another candy jar. No lid, though, on that one. Let's see, Palm Dairy's pint bottle. I guess that's a pint. Something like that. It's kind of a small size. Anyway. And a tin for Wilkinson's Perfected Pontefract Cakes, whatever that is. Kind of a neat, neat early tin. And let's see, we got a pie plate from Finney's General Store. Again, for two bucks. Um, yeah, don't know where Finney's General Store is, but uh, I guess we'll find out. And let's see, we've got another Raleigh's Ginger Tin. This is a little one this time. Got a pair of them. And let's see. Wow, I've got a Highcroft Vibe. Um, this was a pottery out of uh, Alberta, Canada. And uh, it's a souvenir vase. I had gotten a case of these at one time. Um, but uh, yeah, made by Highcroft. Specially made for Manitoba souvenirs, I guess. All right. And a flower canister. I see the little guys of this style, but I don't see the big ones that often. So for three bucks, I bought it. Little Buddy L transport truck. A little bit worn, but it was a dollar. And last and not least, a Tonka little tractor and trailer. Anyway, that's what I got. Oh, wait a second. I got a bunch of free trucker caps too, which I'll go through later. Not sure if there'll be anything salvageable, but I did take out one and wore it to the auction. So that cap probably saved me from sunstroke or something. So anyway, so it was good to pick them up. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping etc. Hit those garage sales hard, folks. Take care.